Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a sneaky peek at the new villain that preview today for the new Warhammer Quest, Cursed City. It's that time of the week again, and I was flicking through the Warhammer community site, and we get another preview for Warhammer Quest, Cursed City, and this week it's a villain, so let's click on the article and take a closer look and see what this miniature is going to look like. So each week we get a new hero or villain and they seem to be alternating the weeks as we go along. But with so many to be released, it's going to be a long time till we see them all. So I'm hoping that this Saturday for the online preview that we can watch on the Warhammer channel that we're going to see a few more released and also see some of the board game itself. That would be awesome. But for today, we get to meet this new scientist that's itching to experiment on you in Warhammer Quest Curse City. So let's scroll down and take a look at this new miniature. And last week we got Quilathis the Exile. And if you wanted to see her in detail, I did a little video of that where we talked about her too. And she is really great. I'm really looking forward to getting that miniature painted as well. And But now we've got some news of horrific experiments and terrifying creatures conducting them. So this is going to be awesome. So let's take a look at the new villain and say hello to Torgilius the Chamberlain, a so-called scholar performing depraved necromantic experiments to raise more warriors for the Olfen Watch. So that sounds pretty grim, which is awesome. And let's find out a little bit more about him as we read down. Olfen Khan was once home to the Brotherhood of Sepulchrists, known as the Pact Mortalis. Torgilius was a member of their order, but turned his back on them, taking their research into Gravesand phylacteries and throwing in his lot with the vampires that came to rule the city. And there's our first little painting of him that we're going to see, which is really great. And he looks a pretty sinister character. And it says finally at the bottom, the Chamberlain's knowledge of Gravesand means that his master can now deflect wounds that would otherwise destroy him, making Torgilius one of the most trusted men in the cursed city. He has also developed the ability to project his will into the diseased vermin in the city, allowing him to spy upon the populace. Okay, that sounds great, but let's scroll down and see the actual miniature. And here he is. And this looks awesome, really different to any of the miniatures I've seen before. And when I first saw it, I thought it kind of had a pirate vibe but definitely more of like a, a necromancer kind of look with the headpiece. But with the patch and the crow and the wood, it was screaming pirate to me. And I guess you could use him as some kind of weird pirate captain. I think that would be quite fun. Um, but this miniature looks awesome. The colours are great. We've got the candle, the crow, and then this wolf down in the bottom left. And then above that, a bat. So he's really focused around the, the different animals and beasts and vermin. And I think that's going to be an awesome part of this miniature's narrative in the game. And so maybe we're going to see bats and rats and crows and maybe some little clusters of them as uh, miniatures that we can play and use. So that's going to be great. So I'm loving this wolf and these kind of animals. So he's got all these familiars and this is uh, going to be brilliant to play for sure. But and then on the back, we can see he's got like some notes. It looks at first like it was stabbed into his back, but there's like a wooden board underneath there holding that on so that's a weird little feature but it all fits in oh and then i did notice on top of his head there is a rat so we can see a rat there so he's covered in animals so he's got a crow a rat a bat and this wolf creature so this is awesome so he's definitely going to have some command over different animals that can i guess they're going to have a longer range to get around the board quicker so that's going to be really interesting to find out more about that so this is great what a miniature, what a story. Is there any more? Let's scroll down. And it says here, while Torgilius usually prefers to dispatch lesser beings to fetch him fresh subjects for his experiments, he will occasionally venture out into the city to choose his own. Anyone who stands in his way suffer the full might of his dark magic. So this sounds great. I mean, what a, what a cool background. And um, yeah, let's take one more look. This is awesome. What a miniature. Really good. So much detail. And this is going to be brilliant to paint and even better to play with but let's take a look now at the website for curse city and it's really cool to see this all unfold as we're getting drip fed all these previews and updates and here we are and you can see here on this first part of the website in the right and left sides as someone pointed out in one of the comments a couple of weeks ago 
this looks like it's going to be the main villain and then we've got the video if you haven't watched it yet definitely recommend watching this preview the music the tone of it really sets the scene for the cursed city i can't wait for this game it's gonna be so good and then it gives you a little introduction and then we come down and this is a good bit this is the characters of the cursed city so we can see the agents of defiance and the overlords of Ulf and Khan. And you can see here we're going to get, I think it's eight. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight agents of defiance. And we've seen two already. So we've seen Jelson Darok. And this tells us all about him. And he looks like a real kind of Van Helsing, a vampire hunter character. And then we've got Quilathis the Exile, a kind of elven ranger style. So this is really good. And two brilliant sculpts. Really great. I don't know which one you prefer out of these two. Let me know in the comments below. It'd be awesome to hear what you think. But I'm going for Quilathis. Looks good, but I think as a character goes, it's so cool to have this kind of Jelson Darok character in a game. And um, I'm really looking forward to finding out more. And then we've got the Overlords. And so far we've seen Gorslav the Gravekeeper. Captain Halgrim. And there's going to be some other skeletons. And we've seen some of those skeletons. Uh, that come out with him so he's gonna have like a troop that's gonna follow him around and now we've got Torgilius the Chamberlain and this looks great what a great miniature this is definitely my favorite out of these three I really liked the Captain Halgrim as a, a good take on a, a skeleton army and Gorslav is so different and unique uh, with that hook just pulling up the the grave there and that little like kind of zombie creature coming out of the earth is awesome but this one loads of character and the narrative I really like it. I love the direction this is going in. On the last video I put out last week, Justin made a really good point. He said, we've got all these good guys with the silhouettes that we're waiting for, but only five bad guys. And he wondered if this perhaps led us to believe we can expect to see maybe five expansions coming in after the release. So that would be really interesting. And that kind of ties in with the map. If we scroll down to explore the cursed city here and we can see this map, we can click on each one. This one's Barrow Mark. And this is the Corrupted Hall of Learning and now the Domain of Torgilius. So we've seen him. Then we've got the Sky Docks. So I don't think we've seen anyone for that yet. We've got Guest Guile. And then this is the Spectral Dead. So perhaps this is for the Skeletons. Hangman's Corpse. Bat infested. Site of a former Sylvaneth Embassy. So maybe not that one yet either. Varngate. Oh no, this will be the, the legions of the skeletons. And then we've got the clot. That sounds grim. And the corpse garden. So that's the gravekeeper. So we've got eight different maps there. But there's also two more shields at the top here that haven't been filled in yet. So there's definitely kind of suggesting we've got expansions coming. So if we can see we've got five villains, but there's ten potential slots here. I think Justin's on to something. And I think we are going to get some expansions coming with this game which is really good and i haven't played blackstone fortress but there were expansions for that so it makes sense that they would do it for this so that's really cool so that pretty much sums up the updates for the website now um, but i'm loving seeing these being released each week one at a time but i hope they do speed it up because otherwise we're going to be waiting another eight weeks just to see the miniatures and so but don't forget there's this preview on the warhammer channel on saturday so here's all the information about that preview that's come in and it's a preview online and this is the Lords of the Mortal Realms. So a previous preview we saw was mostly 40k but this one's really focusing on Warhammer Age of Sigmar and also Warhammer Underworlds and Warhammer Quest. So with Underworlds hopefully we'll see the rest of the Savage Oryx and maybe we'll get a peek at the next warbands coming. So that's really great but also I suppose they should be releasing some kind of um, terrain all the, the kind of hazards that come with Underworlds. Maybe we'll see those this weekend too. And so if you're into all this, like me, then this tells you when to watch on the website. And there's different times for different countries. So here's all the times and the, the date. And I'll be joining. I'm in the UK, so I'll be watching on Saturday the 20th at 2 p.m. So if you're going to watch it too, check in there. But I'll also, as soon as that video is finished... I'll make some videos and put them on the channel with updates for each of the different games that we're all into. And hopefully we might see some stuff for Warcry, but it's only got the Age of Sigmar, Underworlds and Warhammer quest there. So maybe they won't put Warcry on there unless they're sneaking it in under the Age of Sigmar logo. 
and then we can hope to see some Warcry. Because we haven't seen any for a few weeks, so it'd be awesome to see if there's going to be something else coming out soon. I know what you think about Torgilius, the Chamberlain. I think he looks great. Um, but yeah, what do you think? What do you think about the narrative behind it? And um, also, what do you think these other two villains are going to be? I really didn't see this one coming. This was really good. So yeah, what do you think the other villains? And we looked at some of the other possibilities for heroes in the previous videos. So if you've got any ideas about what those heroes are going to be, add it in the comment section below. Be awesome to hear your thoughts. So that's it for this week's Curse City update. And thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. <laughs>